Ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, singers, and singers, commenters, new subscribers, all oh, subscribers, and just generally anybody who watches these videos, uh, welcome back. Incoming! <laughs> Welcome back. I think I think I got that right. Ah oh, dear. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, if this isn't the month that keeps giving, I don't know what is. Literally, I was saying to myself last night, I need something to talk about. Something. Something that everybody knows and everybody's in, well, nearly everybody's interested in. And it was like a gift from the Moodle Vlog and Gods. And that is, and it came today at around lunchtime. And that was the Ulster Grand Prix <laughs> released a statement. And I'll, I'll post the picture up here uh, here's a picture if you want to read it screenshot it or not screenshot it uh pause pause the video here and read it give you a second have you stopped laughing yet right it's basically the ulster grand prix puts out a statement saying well it didn't really say much much that nobody already knew that they're having trouble they're talking to people and that it would be sad to see it disappear and it, it was kind of predictable that this was coming because just about what three days ago two days ago they posted up a They posted up a silly, silly little, can you name these writers? We were sent these pictures. And, and the R in a bit that the, the R in the bit that the, the post was up, literally everybody bar three brown nosing people were like, right, what's happening this year? Right, or why aren't you telling us about what's happening this year? Is it happening next year? You know, people genuinely asking a sensible question. And what did they do? They deleted the post. I myself even commented on it, saying, how about you tell us what's happening this year or not happening this year? Because, like, we want to know. So they released the statement. Basically, it says this, that, and maybe the other... And that they're they're asking the government for help and the government's talking to them and basically they want the government to bail them out people are giving them active suggestions and you know charge less and all this here and yes all right it's all well and good saying charge less but again events like them have overheads and insurance and they have to put a lot of money in up front in the first place Try not to slide my backside here. Mm -hmm. So it's understandable what people are trying to help because people actively don't want to see the race disappear. Um, but they're blaming the, the the main reason. Well, one of the main reasons they were blaming on the financial troubles was the weather now granted the weather at that part of the country at that time of the year is as probably as about as predictable as a hand grenade in a microwave they're in line with the airport so they're probably getting their weather information off the airport so yes the, the weather's bad people stay away why pay 25 quid for it to be rained off four hours later so, a lot of the, the anger coming from the fans is that 
well, why isn't this working? Why aren't you talking to us? You know, it's, at the end of the day, you're in an event that is probably well known around the world. It gets visitors from around the world. And you're keeping everybody in the dark because you're having financial troubles. Tell people you're having financial troubles and even take on some of their uh, suggestions. But it is, it's hard because I understand what people are saying and I know what the Ulster's trying to say is blah, blah, blah. But they were given a large amount of money to build infrastructure and they did. They made corners safer, they built a, 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 a race house or whatever, like a radio tower thing. And they built that and, you know, they, they were getting all this money to make it a safer place and safer race. And swiftly a couple of months after, they're complaining that well, they don't have no money and they can't put this year's on. So, it's infuriating. It really is. So the way that, that there's two scenarios, two scenarios to the whole thing. This year, scenario number one, this year gets binned off and they work really hard to get the money up for next year. Sensible option. Second option is that they're just trying to like get everybody to feel sorry for them and run it this year. When you st- uh, and I, I'm afraid that oh, that won't work because people will see it's not on and go and do something else racing suffers look at that wonderful sky it's just a it's just a shame that everybody's being left in the dark about something that everybody loves I get it that it's a business and it has its secrets and all that there but when your business reply relies on fans and road racers to come and you act the goat you know it is irritating also also the kicker that some of the riders from last year hadn't even been paid now I don't know whether that's true but I have heard multiple writers talking off the record about it and saying that, in my view, really what should happen is cancel it this year, run a UGP day, get all the big teams that you can or all the teams that you can to go up to the Ulster Grand Prix area and hold like a fundraising day. Because at the end of the day, it's the fans who want answers and the fans are willing to send the money. I've seen a lot of the wind is metal again. I've seen a lot of the moto vloggers and Instagrammers, they all go home over for the road races. Like, well, they, they all come over for the Northwest my opinion on the Northwest is probably a video in itself. So yeah, it, it is a bit of a, a, a sticky one. I would love to see the Ulster on every year and I understand that there's insurance to be paid and people get killed in road racing. Um, it is, it's just one of those topics that just infuriates me. With me running a road racing page too, you can see people talk and you can see the eagerness to help. But if you don't accept the help, you can't really on you can't really justify going. Well, nobody helped us. Oh dear. My advice for the Ulster Grand Prix: you need to be more transparent to the fans. They're the lifeblood of the sport. The riders are the lifeblood of the sport. 
don't butt them out. That's the worst thing you can do. As always, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and if you haven't already subscribed, I'm really hoping that the Norton video and this video is kind of well received. I know the Norton video got one dislike, a whole dislike out of 800 and odd, at this point, 800 and odd views. I hope it's well received. If it is, let me know in the comments below. Tell me what you think the Ulster Grand Prix should do. And if you ref if you if you say they should do what the TT does, I will slap you. Like, really, I will. As always, keep it lit. And if you can't keep it lit, be transparent with people and tell them why you can't get it lit. Hey, <laughs>